Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. So in this video, what I'm going to uh, explain you that there is an indicator called um, info record update. So let me show you that info record update. Whenever you create a purchase order, ME21N. So give the vendor purchasing organization and uh, purchasing group give the material so we are testing in Svahana 2020 system 10 quantity and 12 plant net price Okay, so here when you go to material data tab, there is a field called info update. So what happens when there is a flag here, once you save the purchase order, system will create the purchase info record with certain information like supplier material number and basic data, some, some information will be created, but conditions will not be created because purchase order is a time independent one so once purchase order is created same price and uh, respective condition details are applicable even if you want to receive it after two years also but in case of info record it's a time dependent so system will not update the conditions like the gross price freight such kind of information will not be updated but it will update the general data for example if your business requirement is whenever i create a purchase order this info update should not come with flag, like how you are seeing on the screen. How to achieve that? To achieve that, you need to do this kind of a setup. What you need to do? Go to SPRO. Go to SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, Material Management, Purchasing environment data. Here, there is a configuration called define default values for buyers. And go to settings for default values. You can create your own default value. For example, I created G1. Maybe the name you can put it like default value for no info update, okay? Maybe default value, no info update. Okay, that is our purpose, right? Save, go to details. Here you can see that indicators. In this indicator, you can see that two info record update are there, purchase order and quotation. Now we are focusing on purchase order, so that go to the purchase order. Here you can see the options, no update, update with or without plant, like info record we have, right? Like with or without plant, or update with plant. If no plant, then uh, with plant you can update it, and update without plant. So these are all like info record, we have a combination so like without plant, that means only purchasing organization level, and with plant means plant level. So anyway, our requirement is you don't want to have that flag. Then you have to keep this no update and save it so this default value should be assigned to all the purchase order creators who are going to create it so you can ask basis team to update all the things so i already opened here yeah this is su3 so user details okay so su3 and you you can maintain for your id but if you want to maintain for some 10 purchasing team people, you want to maintain the same value, then you have to inform to basis team if you have, or security, whoever is handling your uh, roles, activities. So go to parameters, ask them to maintain EVO, okay, default values for purchasing, and answer is Q, G1, and save.
So if you make this kind of a configuration, the info update flag will be removed to list of users who have this default flag. I hope you got an idea how to remove the default info update. The benefit of this one is system will not create any info record based on the purchase order. And uh, if there is no info record valid, it, uh, the old price from the purchase order will not be copied to the new price. So these two benefits you can get with this blank info update. I hope you learned a new thing in this video. If you like our video, keep sharing and keep rating on Udemy. Thank you.